How's it going, everyone? I'm Vincent. Hey, guys. I'm Amy. And we're a visual content agency. This is the continuation of the last episode that we shot about a month ago on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of like a prerequisite video, kind of talking about your business plan, your competitors, your audience. And if you have continued on to this video, then you probably know all of that already. Exactly. So, yeah, thanks for a little refresh there. Because today what we want to focus in on is how to build your brand visibility online. If you heard our last broadcast, we, like Vincent said, we covered the three things you need before you get started into content marketing. Now we're looking at, here's your brand, is it ready to go into the next realm, which is going online, social media, being being really, you know, an outlet online, being a voice. Being a voice, mm -hmm. being an influence and inspiration. Mm -hmm. At VCA, our clients come to us because we have a strategy in place to really take them and a process to guide them into content marketing. And we feel that it's extremely important to know who you are before you get started online. We really pride ourselves on this process. We've mm -hmm. been devel developing it for the past three years in our business. Yeah. And, you know, it's worked. It's, it's proven itself. It really has. Yeah. Something that's really special, and I think it's something that we feel and we hope that we can really guide you with over the terms of this, you know, or over the series of this year, you know, as we guide people. Exactly. So, um, I think the first thing you need to ask yourself when you're building a brand is, do you have a brand identity already? Yeah, your logo, right. your style sheet, are you kind of veering into a landing page or a website? Yeah. Do you have a message? Yeah, what what are you currently projecting? Are you simply just getting started? You have print and you're not even online yet? Or are you already online and what does that look like? Exactly. Yeah, knowing who you are. Knowing who you are, yeah. And, to, and then this process kind of takes you and elaborates who you are into different facets online. Exactly. And then once you're, you feel like you have those things, you have your logo, you have messaging in place, copy, content, it's really, it, that's it's your foundation. It mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you kind of build that up and then you're ready to start exploring ways to, and different avenues and outlets and channels to be online. Exactly. And so those look, what are those exactly, right? Like that's your website. It actually allows you to start thinking social more media. about, you know, where you can go online, whether mm -hmm. it's like your blog or social media, or you go on YouTube, kind of tra create videos, live exactly. broadcasts. Uh, yeah, that's once, true. Once you know your messaging, then you can go in any direction. Mm -hmm. So the channels that we look for at VCA to really manage and really own those are your social media, Facebook, Instagram, like Vincent mentioned, YouTube, Insta Stories. All those are different ways to build your brand message and get it out there but you must know that first right you have to know what that is and then of course your website which a lot of people still use and have but then you see a lot of people now even just use their Instagram and their feed for at their portfolio or their profile yeah a lot of people you you see influencers on Instagram just using Instagram to drive traffic into whatever sales page that they need to opt people in almost like a funnel mm-hmm a lot of them are just doing even like ads on their four different brands and just using their page for that too. Yes. So there's a lot of different avenues to go for brand visibility nowadays. And it's really nice that we're able to help and assist our clients get there. And for us, I guess coming to the main point of this broadcast is what's the number one way to build your brand visibility online? So, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> what is it, Vincent? <laughs> what is it? Um, is your brand ready to go online? Yeah. That's, that's the main question. Yeah. And um, then if it is ready, then you need a visual content strategy, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the number one thing you need at VCA is a VCS, I would say, right? <laughs> VCS tape. No. Yeah. <laughs> DVDs. Yeah, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> A visual content strategy is what you need, and that's kind of the process that we, the proprietary process that we developed the past three years. It's mm -hmm. taking that visual content and streamlining it on, on all social channels. Exactly. Yeah, so our strategy is something that we have held, like Vincent said, proprietary, close to our you know hearts and our soul and our whole message and it's our, our brand. It's our passion. Yeah. But now this series of videos that we're going to take you into over the course of the next few months is going to be all about how to build your own and how to really succeed. We feel that 2020 is a really big year for brands online. 
Yeah, and you have to really be ready. And in order to do that, you need a process. And it's not only brands, I feel like. Yeah. I, everyone's true. a brand nowadays. Yeah. So it's like anyone could take this process and use it for them own, for themselves, for their brand, for their company. Mm -hmm. it, it really is, you know, made for anyone. Yeah. So a small business can look at this in from a different perspective while a more corporate brand or a you know influencer can actually use this too exactly. so nobody's really exempt from this process that's good you said that that's yeah good. Um, so a few things about our strategy that we're gonna take you into and learn more about over the next few months I would say it's to keep in mind that it involves knowing who your brand identity is back to that mm -hmm. and the content that you have I think one thing, Vince, that you've done that's really good is looking at our clients and what they have in terms of like asset management and digital yeah, assets. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I take kind of like an audit of all of their assets. And mm -hmm. when pe people come to us, they think that like they need to create all this new content, they yeah. need to keep it all like fresh. I mean, not necessarily. Like, they can look back in their archives of content, and we take that content and we learn how to make it new mm -hmm. based off of their current, you know milestones and goals and that all fits into the strategy yeah visual content strategy just so you know is that it's a proven framework and it's a roadmap for getting your content visible online creating measurable results and really integrating parts of your marketing goals and your overall brand messaging into one big plan it's a game plan so it can be arbitrary in a sense because really everybody's different like Vincent said you mm -hmm. have influencers using it you have small businesses using it you have your corporate brands using different types of roadmaps to get there what mm -hmm. we've done is we've comprised it all into one exactly. solid plan and I feel like it's really working for our clients I think it is yeah it really is mm -hmm. so, everyone enjoys the process yeah. you know it's not it's not a struggle every month for them it's like they get a go into the platform and see all of the content organized and mm -hmm. they enjoy it they enjoy yeah. seeing all of their content being used for once yeah so. it's actually pretty cool yeah yeah so it's typically when we start a strategy we either write it or we visually create it and we explain to our clients how to get there so we're gonna be guiding you on different ways to go about your strategy to get started like building that foundation yeah and then how to manage it monthly and what it looks like because really it's a strategy is an idea really yeah and then you're putting it into place on how you're gonna execute and exactly and I think in our next episode we're gonna be talking about like how to discover your clients how to create those milestones mm -hmm. and goals and like what type of things you want to see monthly yes. what type of KPIs KPIs you want to see monthly happen yeah and if KPIs if you don't know what that means it's key point indicators so looking at the data to measure results because a lot of times people say how do I know my social media is bringing me ROI why do I need to put money into my content marketing and so that's where this strategy takes you from the beginning all the way to the end of each month every day matters on social media so you need to have a really solid plan in place to get things going and out there yeah yeah we're really excited to share this process with you guys and yeah. we hope you guys continue on in each episode and stay tuned we're gonna try yeah. to do this you know at least bi-weekly but right now it's been couple months so yeah we apologize. <laughs> we apologize for that yeah. but thank you for tuning in today and we're gonna be um, sending this out on our different channels but also if you haven't signed up if you go to our website you can sign up for our email newsletter we'll be sending out information and we also have a new Facebook group called building your visual brand and so we'll add that link also to this uh, post so you can get that and, and sign up exactly yeah. also follow BCA visual content agency on Instagram and yeah. Facebook See what we're doing. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys.